Alright, let's get off this damn planet before the shit really hits the fan. I don't think there's anything for me to collect in here. I should have. I probably could have shot the grenade launcher thing out of her hand. Whatever it was. Probably would have worked the best. I don't know. It might have just shot her in the head, for all we know. So I just gotta go that way. There's no other way I can go. Nothing else to collect, so. Fuck! I'm an idiot. <laughs> this shit's gonna hit the fan in a minute. Like, really soon. Analysis data. Where'd I get that? This might be useful. Heavy skin weave. I don't know if I already have that or not. Go, go, come on. We're almost there. Is there no one left to fight? Is it just me? Doubt it. <laughs> it don't stand around to smell the flowers. Better get going. I think I'm there now. I think this is the escape hatch. War to generate, regenerate, but are lightly armored. Use headshots to kill them. I don't like Vorcha. They're ugly mother duckers. We have to just haul ass. It's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a close one. Alpha thing's almost here. I gotta hurry up. Oh my god. Got it. Down. Go, go, don't have time, go. I I can't just run, I don't think. Too many people. Calm signal, there it is. Where? Where was it? That's it right there. Okay, um There's gotta be something else. I still have plenty of time before we reach there, but not much. Gonna look around a bit, make sure I didn't miss anything. Alright, okay, let me run. There we go. I don't even care anymore. Let's just activate the signal and get off. How do you do that? Oh, I gotta go to that side. Shit. Quick, dude, it's almost here. Oh my god. There we go. External comm channel open. There. Shepherd to Normandy. Joker, do you read me? The Reaper. Shepard, you have become an annoyance. You fight against inevitability, dust struggling against cosmic winds. This seems a victory to you, a star system sacrificed. But even now, 
Your greatest civilizations are doomed to fall. Your leaders will beg to serve us. Maybe you're right. Maybe we can't win this. But we'll fight you regardless. Just like we did Sovereign. Just like I'm doing now. However insignificant we might be. We will fight. We will sacrifice. And we will find a way. That's what humans do. Know Sorry, this bitch. as you die in vain. Your time will come. Your species will fall. Prepare yourselves for the arrival. Blow me. Bitch, Harbinger, get your ass out here. Don't assume anything except your own fucking Shepherd, baggotry. Roger that. Yeah, now's a good time. So do you have to use the Mass Effect Relay to get off, <laughs> like, before the asteroid hits it? Yeah, we do. Go! <laughs> Quick! Give her some snooze. Right as we're leaving, it's gonna take the shit out. Ba-boom! If I just called the Normandy, I wouldn't have had to fight all those guys on that bridge. I could just run for it. It's gone. They did it. They're on the way, boys. They are on the way. Ultimate sacrifice. Complete the arrival pack. There's Admiral Hackett. He's got some explaining to do. Huh. Looks like you've recovered. Admiral Hackett. Sounds like you went through hell down there. How are you feeling? Fine. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. I decided to debrief you in person. That was before the mass relay exploded and destroyed an entire Batarian system. What the hell happened out there, Commander? Have you received any intel about what happened? All I know is I sent you out there to break Amanda Kenson out of prison. And now an entire system is destroyed. I hope you could fill in the leap of logic between those two events. I confirmed Dr. Kenson's proof. The Reapers were coming, and destroying that relay was the only way to stop them. Kenson sedated me for almost two days. I started the engines with little more than an hour left. I tried to warn the Batarian colony, but time ran out. The Batarians report no survivors from Aratat. At least you tried. And you believe the Reaper invasion really was a threat? No doubt about it. We literally had minutes to spare. I'm sure all the details are in your report. I won't lie to you, Shepard. The Batarians will want blood, and there's just enough evidence for a witch hunt. And we don't want war with the Batarians, not with the Reapers at the galaxy's edge. What are you saying? You did what you did for the best of reasons, but there were more than 300,000 Batarians in that system, all dead. They died to save trillions of lives. If I could have saved them, you bet your ass I would have. You're preaching to the choir, Commander. If it were up to me, I'd give you a damn medal. Unfortunately, not everyone will see it that way. So what do you suggest? Evidence against you is shoddy at best. But at some point, 
You'll have to go to Earth and face the music. I can't stop it, but I can and will make them fight for it. That's stupid, man. We just saved their asses and now they're hating us? I didn't expect to see you aboard a Cerberus vessel. I don't like Cerberus or the way they do things. But they brought you back to life, and they're actually doing something about the state of the galaxy. Besides, I'm not so sure this is a Cerberus ship anymore. Right? Is the Alliance concerned about the Batarians' response to this incident? Very. The Batarians have been looking for an excuse to wage war on us since we showed up in the galaxy. If the Reapers invade, we need the galaxy to work together. If we're at war with the Batarians, the other races will be hesitant to give aid to either side. Is the Alliance prepared for a Reaper invasion? That's hard to say. It took multiple fleets and the Destiny Ascension to bring Sovereign down, and that was just one Reaper. If the Reapers come in force, we're just not ready. Hmm. They really should be thanking me, but... I'll gladly stay in trial once this mission is done. Glad to see working with Cerberus hasn't stripped away your sense of honor. Damn right it hasn't, son. Do whatever you have to do out here. But when Earth calls, you make sure you're there with your dress blues on. Ready to take the hit. In the meantime, you keep this. I don't need to see a report to know you did the right thing. Yes, sir. You've done a hell of a thing, Commander. You'd think he'd be a fucking general by now with all the shit he's done. <laughs> I don't know, man. We finally get to see Admiral Hackett. Apparently stirred up quite a shit storm. <sighs> got the heavy skin weave, got a decent amount of credits. 14,000. 17,030. No. 17,530. That's what it is. That's right fucking in my face. I was trying to add them to <laughs> Okay. Element zero. Decent amount. Actually, that's considerably a lot of element zero, but... Palladium found. Iridium. Close report. So I take it that there's no more to that... DLC. I'll just find out in two seconds here. As soon as the loading screen decides to let me play again. Let me play, mommy. Let me play. Holy fuck. That's what I hated about Mass Effect. Lo loading screens were long. but Yep. Seems to be all we got for that DLC. Well, what can I say about it? I liked it because... For a couple of reasons. You can... It lets you go back to Mass Effect 2. And everyone loves that excuse. If you're a fan of Mass Effect series, you'll, you'll always want an excuse to play more Mass Effect. Now, that's... I like the storyline linkage. It helped, It really put things in perspective. But when you think about it, the DLC really didn't change much. I mean, we're still in the exact same place we were before. We delayed the Reaper invasion momentarily. I mean, that DLC proved... That the Reapers were coming, yes, for sure. But then again, it also stopped that we managed to stop them. That they had to find another method of doing it, you know? Which will, again, be revealed in Mass Effect 3. So it kind of bridges the gap. But I wouldn't say in the way that they were thinking. That's just my prerogative. But, uh, I don't know. But what do I rate this DLC? Well, uh, the price is pretty reasonable. I'd say I was playing for about two hours or so. Uh, it's yeah, I'd say two hours or so, two and a half hours. So you get a decent amount of time, depending on what you achieve for. See what I mean? I tried getting all the achievements, and that made the DLC longer. It's all it's all up in here, guys. Um, so I'm going to rate the DLC an 8. It's a decent price. It's uh, 560 Microsoft points, which I believe is 6 bucks on PSN. I don't remember, but uh, I think that's what it is. And, oh no, it's probably less than that. What is that? Someone else help me out. I can't remember. I think it's five bucks, five, six bucks. So not bad. You get three new achievements. Not like it really matters, but you get an, an in-depth, uh, decent level to really explain things that are about where, basically where you're going to be in Mass Effect 3. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys really soon.